Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I have the 450 Bushmaster with the BCA upper back out and we're going to be shooting a Hornady Black 250 grain bullet in order to try to get either a pig or deer this evening. When we think about cold in the area that I hunt, we think 30 degrees and that's at night, early morning and that's really frigid today at the warmest part of the day check this out the warmest part of the day and it's only 25 degrees that is really abnormal for this area by this afternoon around five o'clock is when it gets dark it's going to be nearly 20 degrees 17 degrees and we're going to have a four degree wind chill and it's only getting colder from there with that being said we're going to do our best to get in a little bit earlier hopefully find something earlier in the evening go ahead and take it get it in the atv and leave before it gets too dark out just because it's so abnormally cold for us here Definitely quite a few pigs in the area. You can see all this rooting along this tree down here, over in this gorge, and all along that side, and all that uh, weed and grass. So good chance we'll see a hog. I'm pretty confident we'll see a couple of deer. I'd love to see a buck, but usually those don't show up until January at the, at the earliest. We've only been here about 15 minutes and we already have a good bit of activity. We have a field to the left of us, we're able to see at least part of it, and we see five deer in it already. Now, it has does in there, and what will happen is, sometimes you'll see these does, and they'll become alert. But not like it's a predator chasing them off or something, more so uh, there's something they don't care for in the area. I've seen this in a few instances where there's bucks waiting right on the corner of a patch, waiting to come out. And in instances to, like today where there's a cold snap, even though it's not the rut here, these bucks will tend to get a little bit more active than they normally would for this time of year. So that's where we're going to watch these does, see if they kind of stay tentatively active and just kind of don't want to be in the area. And that could mean a buck sometimes, but not always. While watching the does into the field of our left, these pigs walked in, and this is a sow I've seen a good bit of, along with her piglets. There's about three or four sounders that have been traveling in close proximity to each other. Well, sure enough, while watching these pigs pretty close to when the feeder goes off, another set randomly comes in by chance at a much closer range. Not only did he make this shot, but he made it while these pigs were on the run. This is not something we have a whole lot of practice with, so the fact that he managed to hit just a little bit high and right is not too bad. You can see where his head goes down a little bit. But before we even had an opportunity to go out and try to find him, we had some more does come in and we knew that we could try to find him a bit later. Oh, 
What's that? I don't think I've got shot it. Keep your keep your scope on her. Shot it kind of low. She's down. Yeah. She's down low. Hundred percent she is. <laughs> Take a look at that shot on this. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we just got up to this doe and that horn deep black was devastating. Take a look at this thing. A just about perfect heart shot. Um, the exit wound is pretty clear and evident. I don't think much needs to be discussed about shot placement here. This year went down quite quickly and we're certainly happy we got her. Fortunately, I have a bed mat. We're definitely gonna need it because this is gonna make a bit of a mess when we go to load it. So over the last three days, I had four misses um, on one pig. <laughs> I think he missed twice. So this is a bit of a redemption shot, fortunately. It's been a rough one. It has been, been a rough, rough one. Yeah, because you're about to take a shot on a doe at what, like 100? 100, 100, 100, 110 yards. And that was in brush. Yeah. And right before he took that shot, I turn around and just want to do a quick glance over here. And sure enough, this deer had come out and it's a 120 yard shot, but importantly, it was a clear view. And it's a shot that we have both done before. We know our aiming points. So it's something that gives us a little bit more confidence. And certainly that came into play this afternoon when it came to this doe right here. Well, we just collected that doe and I thought, I really want to go take a look and see if there's any blood from that hog that he shot at because it looked like it stumbled a little bit on video. And sure enough, we just weren't looking in the right spot not too long ago. There it is. Just a little bit of blood. So we're gonna go nice and easy back here. Go take a look around. Um, they went to some thickets, so just be nice and careful. Go from there and hopefully also recover this pig. Oh, you heard it? On. Well, we looked for that pig. We tracked it for 250 yards and it was getting pretty close to dark. All of a sudden, we ran into like seven or eight more hogs at no more than 10 yards away. And at that point, we were like, it's getting a little sketchy, so we're going to call off the search for that particular pig. But as far as the ammunition goes, I think it is hard to disagree with the fact that these Hornady Black and 450 Bushmaster are incredibly lethal and they did a wonderful job this evening now guys if you enjoyed this video please make sure to share like subscribe for more and as always thanks for watching